A statistic from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention about coronavirus deaths in the U.S. has sparked a wave of confusion on social media. CDC reports say COVID-19 was only the cause mentioned on death certificates in 6% of deaths involving the virus. Joining us this morning to talk about this and why this statistic is widely misunderstood, Dr. Matthew Thompson with Telescope Health. Dr. Thompson, good to see you. I know that we've checked in with you throughout the pandemic. And I want to talk about this because we are hearing about it all the time. When we're reporting it, people are saying, you're not reading this latest CDC report. And there's a yeah. lot of confusion and a lot of anger about it, Doc. Yeah, it's, it's great to be here. And I, I hope that uh, I can provide some clarity and uh, some some truth. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And so, you know, I want your viewers to, to hopefully gain something from this. And I'll start with this statement. Uh, now we're up to 185,000 deaths. And, and all of those deaths are real deaths from COVID-19. So that's the first statement I want to say here. Um, the CDC statistics, the 6%, uh, refers to those who have unfortunately died from COVID-19 without any other medical conditions being listed. So, you know, Vic, I'll, I'll start with, you know, with you. I know that uh, reading through your journey, um, you had COVID-19. And as an emergency physician, I have unfortunately taken care of many people who have uh, died either in the ER from this or in the ICU after my care. And those that, that died that don't have any other medical conditions would be within that 6%. Now, I know that a lot of your viewers have been affected by this and have had loved ones that have died from COVID-19. Uh, and it is very, very likely that they had some other underlying medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, COPD, any conditions. And as a physician, when I take care of those people, if they do die or if I do put diagnoses in their charts, uh, I'm going to list all of those conditions. And so what the CDC is saying is that uh, the same thing it's been saying all this time, which is people with those conditions are at a much, much higher risk. And uh, this virus really is often the tipping point um, for, for those people who, who are just frankly at a higher risk. And those are the, the population that we need to look out for. And this is what we've been talking about all along, since day one. It's yeah. just been misinterpreted. It's been used for some people's agendas. But we always knew about these comorbidities. If you have some sort of underlying medical condition, you're more likely to get sicker. And that doesn't mean that you died from asthma. It means that you died from COVID-19 that affected your asthma, correct? That's, that's exactly right. And uh, that is why it's so important for the younger, healthy population to understand that um, they need to look out not for themselves also, but for public health and for their loved ones, for those who are elderly, older than 65, um, with any kind of conditions, statistically speaking, as we know, they're just at a significantly higher risk and we still need to be vigilant. And, you know, I would say that in the day of misinformation and there's a lot of sources of, of information coming at you through social media, uh, through news, um, for, for the viewers out there who are concerned as to what's truth, I don't know what to listen to, I would first start with your primary care doctor or your physician. I would, I would go to a medical doctor. And if you don't have a medical doctor, I would seek one out. And, um, you know, I, I hope that we can provide a resource to that. Um, certainly people can utilize our service, Telescope Health, um, to see a provider. But, you know, that would be a great place for people to start is, is through a physician. And this goes back to think before you share, because there's so many people that are just going to share and they're going to comment on things that they really haven't researched or verified or spoken to an expert about and, and not only can it be wrong it can be dangerous or deadly because it's letting our guard down on a virus that very much is still killing people in our community i think you can attest to that yeah absolutely and it's uh, it's it's really sad to see you know our icus are still full uh, throughout the city with people who are suffering from COVID and are very very sick and um, this pandemic has affected people in many different ways. And it's understandable that people want uh, this to go away. And, uh, but the reality is we, have, we do have to remain vigilant and, and protect those who are at higher risk. Dr. Matthew Thompson with Telescope Health. I could talk with you about this topic <laughs> all day long. We've yeah, got to go. Vic. I appreciate your time. Thanks for what you're doing in the community and stay yeah. safe. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.